confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. Nothing's gonna stop me when I'm so close to the answers I'm looking for. Eager to get inside, huh? Good. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on. And it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. Checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal entry. Proctor Ingram? I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Pull yourself together and get up onto that platform. Refrain from opening fire inside the Institute. It could jeopardize our entire mission. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. You have your assignment, By the way, soldier. This little trip you're Move taking out. is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. Valuable asset. Sixty percent. If any harm 80%, comes, percent. Emitter spiking but response. steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier.
wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. It's stuck. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. You. Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! 
Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father, Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know, I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been re- It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. 
Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother... She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Your institute has done some horrible things. <sighs> yes, well... The world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? The Brotherhood of Steel. They believe they're the only ones fit to control technology. 
and destroy anyone who opposes them. And you would side with them. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the Relay. Sean, can we talk about this? Have you reconsidered your decision? I've changed my mind. I'll work with you. Well, that's good to hear. All right, then. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. <laughs> 